All right. Next to skate, representing the United States, Marissa Castelli and Mervyn Tran in seventh place after the short program, the reigning U.S. silver medalist really struggled in the short. The glow around your face when you see the lightning rays. I know I'm very near. Opening triple twist. And I can hear Much cleaner catch than we saw in the short program. Right into the side-by-side -side triple toe loops. A little quick on her timing. She pulls out into a double. For Triple flip, wild off the takeoff. She drills down on the way down and able to save. Great fight from Marissa Castelli. Mervyn is Canadian. He was released by the Canadian Federation to compete with Marissa. But the 2018 Olympics are not a possibility as he is not a U.S. citizen yet. And this is their only Grand Prix assignment. Side-by-side triple sows, way ahead of himself. Mervyn unable to catch the upper body. Triple Sal, able to save the landing, unlike the short program. Marissa and Mervyn had solid success with their former partner. She, a two-time national champion and Olympic bronze team medalist with Simon Schnippier and Mervyn, a 2012 world bronze medalist with Narumi Takahashi.
You always have the sense that these two have such a nice friendship, and you can sense Marisa a bit of frustration Castelli on Marin both of their Tren. parts. Third Senior season Michelle on the Dominique. Grand Prix for Castelli and Tran. Their marks when we return. Here's a look at that opening triple twist. We saw that grip slipping in the short program much more secure on the way down. But if you watch the timing on these side-by-side -side triple toes, you want to establish a rhythm into these jumps. You create your momentum with your speed. You sustain your momentum with your timing. So when there's an obvious break in the timing, the mechanics just physiologically don't work as efficiently, and it makes it very difficult to try to get these triple jumps off. The throws were a little bit off today, but she fought so hard to get back over that foot. And that's that pair woman strength that we have come to expect from Marissa. But look at Mer Marvin. Mervin's triple sauk out so off his hip as he tries to pivot. There's no opposition at the moment of takeoff. Just so frustrating because they have so much potential. There are so many amazing transitions in both of their programs. So many feats of strength, very difficult lifts, but without the cleanliness, it is hard to contend with these big scores. Well, they had a solid start at Autumn Classic in Montreal. They set a personal best in the free skate. a bit on their friendship earlier. They obviously have a lot of chemistry on the ice. They skate beautifully with one another. It's just getting things to work at the right time, hitting those big tricks when you know the camera is on. We just got really close. It was the flying camel. I remember doing the first rotation. We were like, that's close. OK. I was like, yeah, it's really close. But their best showing really on the Grand Prix came in 2015 when they were fifth at Skate Canada. This Rather fourth. One sixteen point one six. That's just about a point below what they scored at Autumn Classic, and again, that was a personal best. Yeah, I think the total competition score for Marisa Castelli. That just shows you how high their ceiling is. When they put it all together, they're going to be capable of very competitive scores, but it needs to happen consistently.